Hi, it's Doodling Debbie here with another video tutorial. One of the members on our um, Silhouette Plus forum had asked a question about um, taking text that she wanted to use and yet she wanted a shape within the middle, the center of the text and she wanted that shape cut out. So this tutorial is going to show you how to do it and I'm going to have to refer you to um, Crafting Kelly's uh, blog, Finding Time to Create, where she'll explain to you how to use the Bullzip um, software. And it's a free software as well. The, the reason why it's so great is that you can actually save a PDF file has a JPEG or a ping, and we both prefer to use the ping file. But let's get started. First of all, we're going to open up this Word document. And um, I'm just going to do some text here. So let's start typing in. Um, we're going to do the equal. This is how you can do just random text. And then a close paren uh, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, and then you get your inner key. And that will give you some random text. And we're going to go over here to insert. And we're going to go to a shape because she suggested a star. So that's what we'll find here in our shapes. There we go. And I'm going to create a star shape for right here in the middle and move that up okay and it immediately took us to the format page and here's where you'll wrap the text okay we go over here to click on our format and then right here go to wrap text and you can see different ways you can wrap it square and I'm gonna do the tight this is top and bottom behind text in front of text so on but we're going to do tight because this is what she wanted okay now I'm going to save this file file save as and we're going to go down here to PDF and I'm just going to save it to my desktop and click save okay as you can see it's in there now I'm going to go up here and go file and we're going to hit the print and when it comes up to the printer I have bullzip PDF printer selected so then I click OK and now it will come up and I can select right here to a ping file and I'm going to click save okay so we can go ahead and close out of this Let's uh, close out of this and close out of our Word. And I don't need to save that. And we're going to go over here to Studio and open up Studio. Go to File, Open. I'm going to select Ping Files. And we're going to go ahead and open that. We just open. So there we go. There's our words all typed. So now how are we going to cut out that star? Well, we just have to go up here to our um, auto trace area. Click select trace area. I'm going to go as close as into the star as I can. This just gives me uh, a little bit less to have to delete out later on. Okay, now we're going to select, turn off that high pass filter and increase this threshold. That looks good and I'm going to hit trace outer edge. I just need the outer edge of the star. Then I'm going to move this over and we're going to grab all of this, right click, release the compound path. I'm going to grab that star shape out of there. I'm going to delete this. And we're going to go ahead and crop this as well because I don't need all this extra paper here. So the way we're going to do that is I'm just going to go and draw a rectangle around this area. That looks pretty good. I'm going to select that rectangle. Let me click off here so it'll. Let 
Let me select this rectangle. Okay, hold down the Shift key and select this background with the typing on it. I'm going to go to our Modify tool and I'm going to select Crop. So now I just have my rectangle. I just place my star and if you want to zoom in on this, hold on, we're going to go to this. I'm going to send that to back. Send to back. I'm going to grab my star. Outline. The cut outline and place it right over that blue star. And go ahead and bring them together. Oh, hold on. First of all, before I bring them together and group them, I want to check something and make sure that this is no cut because we just want that to print. So that is no cut. And our star is set to cut. So now that I've checked those, I can group these right down here at the bottom. Go to my page view. And this, since this is going to be a print and cut, I'm going to go ahead and set up my registration marks. Show registration marks. And of course, you know, we can always resize those. So we'll size them down. I actually like them around 10. And we can even do that bottom margin again. So bring that up. There we go. Okay, it's all ready to do a print and cut. And remember, you can check out Crafting Kelly's blog at Finding Time to Create Blogspot.com um, to find out more about the Bull Zip. It's a free program, and you can do what I just did here. And um, this is how you'll go about getting those words all around your font and be able to do a print and cut and cut out the shape in the middle. I hope this tutorial was helpful. You can come visit us at the Silhouette Plus group forum or at my blog www.paperpost.blogspot.com which I'll type it at the end of this video anyway. Have a great day. Bye now.